सो हे गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू एच एस अकेडमी एडवांसिंग एच एस प्रोफेशन थ्रू अवेयरनेस सो गाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थ्री मेन कॉन्सेप्ट ओके विच इज द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ फंक्शन सेफ्टी नाउ प्रीवियसली एज आई टोल्ड यू वी आर गोइंग टू कवर हेयर द फंक्शन सेफ्टी ऑल्सो दैट्स वाई बिफोर आई थिंक बिफोर वन मंथ एगो आई हैव टेकन वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू फंक्शन सेफ्टी का बिना इन दैट टाइम आई टोल्ड यू दीज थ्री वर्ड्स ओके सो नाउ in today's video we are going to comprehensively discuss about these three words because if you are aware if you are familiar with these words then it will be easy for you to understand the functional safety in a easy manner okay so these three lovable words are sil safety integrity level second is sif safety instrumented function third is sis safety instrumented system okay so one by one we will go to these words now guys first of all there is a word that is called sil okay now what is the meaning of cell actually to cell means safety integrity level it means a uh, the level of protection actually you can tell him in a easy language level of protect protection okay so it is the level of protection provided by a safety function okay to reduce a risk level now we know that everywhere risk is present okay basically if i tell you in a easy manner so see this all things whatever we are discussing cell cis cell it is basically related to electronic components okay you don't think that a person is there he will be cell 4 certified he will be cell 3 certified it's not like that okay when we are talking about functional safety at that time we are going inside the process industry whatever the equipment we will be having it may be your sensor logic solver uh, valves are there okay pressure transmitter is there okay everything we are talking about that not of persons because because in the previously we used to discuss about process safety fire explosion not like that with related to technical things okay so cell is the level of protection provided by a safety function to reduce a risk level so everywhere risk is present okay now we need to reduce that risk sometime we will put the control measures so at that time in function safety we have the control measures like safety instrumented function okay now what is the safety instrumented function safety instrumented function is the combination of logic solver sorry first of all a sensor logic solver and final control element now you will be having some confusion so let's come to this diagram to understand that sif okay so see we are talking about now sif cell is the level of protection product provided by a sif okay so what is sif okay so see guys here is one pipeline okay inside that some material is flowing okay as well as one reactor is there this is your reactor okay now when a reactor is full or you can tell it is filled above a certain limit for example this is the capacity of that okay if it is filled above that the alarm will raise or the process will automatic automatically shut down okay or the material which is coming inside it will be stopped but how what is the reason and how this works so see basically it's a combination of three major things first is your sensor here one sensor is there this is the sensor after that logic solver is there okay and this is your final control element this is a sensor this is a final control element and this is a logic solver okay now how it will work so see material is going like that inside the particular reactor so it will detect how much level it is now if the level is increasing above that so it will directly give a signal to the logic solver now logic solver will understand that yeah material is going to be filled we need to stop that because it is the predetermined criteria by the designers or engineers okay so what will happen here is that one valve will be there which is called final control element okay it will stop the flow of material from here okay so this is a safety instrumented function it is together making a safety instrumented function why because it is taking the process to a safe state okay if it is not controlled just think that if it's not controlled the flow of material inside the reactor if it is not controlled what will happen something has at us because continuously overflow means material will come outside uh, chances of uh, explosion and fires are there okay so you can tell that it is a combination of sensor logic solver and final control element that is called a sif okay i hope you are cleared with that but every sif is applicable to a specific type of problem for example it is one of the problem so in the process industries as you know that a lot of processes is going on so there will be hundreds and thousands of sifs will be available there okay so in order to manage all these sifs there will be one sif okay now what is the meaning of sif safety instrumented system so it is pretty much similar to the sif but i'll give you one difference in that also so safety instrumented system is again a set it's not a single it's a set 
of sensors, logic solver, and final control element. Under that, you can say under sys, there will be one or more sif. Okay, sif is for a single hazard. Okay, for a single hazard control. But sys is for multiple hazard control. Okay, now it is a combination of basically hardware as well as software also. Now we have understood these three concepts, but there is one more thing. When we talk about SIL, so there are some types of SIL is available there. Okay, now we will discuss what are all the types and how this affects our operation. Now we have generally SIL of four types: SIL one, SIL two, SIL three, SIL four. SIL one means less protection, less protection provided by a safety function. Okay, SIL four means highest level of protection provided by a safety function. Now guys. So let me uh, let me tell you what is the meaning of these numbers. I wrote a lot of numbers over there. R means reliability, how much we can depend on a particular cell. Okay, PFT means probability of failure on demand. It means if a, a for example, if I'm using a mobile. Okay, so out of hundred times, if I'm using, so how much time it can fail upon my operation if I'm clicking one button hundred times. So how much time it will not work if I click a button. One more example, simple. Okay, fine. Uh, for example, one sensor is there. Okay, just consider the sensor is there. So, what is the work of a sensor to detect the level of particular how much material is there in this case? Okay. So now, if sensor is operated thousand times, so how much time the probability is there it it is going to be fail? So that is called will be your probability of failure demand. Okay. So in every device it exists. Maybe it may is low low as possible, but it exists. Fine. Second is risk reduction factor. Okay, means how much it is reducing the risk. Okay, so as I told you, what is the SIF? It is the level of protection by level of protection provided by a SIF to reduce the risk up to the acceptable level. Okay, so how much risk reduction factor is there? Now, when we talk about SIL safety integrity level one, so its reliability is 90 to 99 percent. See, starting from 90 to 99 percent. Okay, so you can depend on this particular SIL if any equipment or any device, small devices. Cell one certified, so it means it will work 90 to 99 percent. Okay, it will work 90 to 99 percent. Yeah. Now, if you are operating this particular device, for example, any uh, sensor you take, for example, just consider this. This is one of the sensor. If you are operating this particular device 200 times, okay, so there is a probability that it will fail 0.1 to 0.01 percent is out of 100. 0.1 to 0.01 percent is probability is there. That it may fail if you are writing it hundred times, or if it is uh, if it is working hundred times, so it may fail zero point one to zero point zero one percentage out of ten to hundred operation if you are using that. Now, if we come to the cell number two, that is the pro, uh, reliability of ninety nine to ninety nine point ninety percent. It means you can tell ninety nine to ninety nine point nine percent reliability is there. Again, if you are using that particular sensor two thousand times. Okay, thousand times continuously it is working. For example, it is a valve, and thousand times it is closing, open, closing, open, closing, open. This pattern is going on. Then probability is there zero point zero one to zero point zero zero one percent. It may fail out of thousand operations. Okay, thousand times open, close, open, close means zero point zero zero one probability exist. Fine. If we talk about cell number three, safety integrity level three. Okay, so there is a reliability of 99.90 to 99.99 percent. It means 99.92 to 99.99 percent reliability is there. So just imagine how much reliability is there. Okay, so again, if it is a device, if you are using for 10,000 operation, 10,000 times it is operating. Okay, so there is a probability of 0.01 to 0.001 percent of failure. Very very few probability. Why? Cell number four and the highest level of cell provided by any equipment or any device. Okay, so probability is more than ninety nine point nine percent. More than ninety nine percent. What we can expect here? Ninety nine point nine percent. More than ninety nine point nine percent. So if you are operating this particular sensor or this particular control valve one lakh times, okay. So at that time probability will be there of failure of demand zero point triple zero one to zero point zero 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 one. Okay. So this is the like cell concepts. Okay, so you can estimate that. Now, for calculating SIL, we have lots of ways are there. Risk mat, risk graphs are there, as well as LOPA layers of protection analysis. Okay, lots of ways are there. So, in the upcoming videos, I will tell you what is the meaning and significance of that. But now, guys, when this is for the just small equipment and devices. Now, when we go to the ISO two six two six two, 
Now, what is the ISO 26262? It is basically a function safety related standard which is related to automotive safety. Okay, as I told you, IC 61508, IC 61511. Okay, so it is related to automobile safety. Function safety with related to automobiles. Now, when we talk about the safety integrity level in automobiles, so at that time, that cell become a cell. Okay, so it may it may change. Okay or it may be same, but we will call this automotive safety integrity level. ASIL 1, ASIL 2, ASIL 3, ASIL 4. Okay, it will be like that. So guys, this is the concept basically safety. Again, let me revise it for you. Uh, safety integrity level is the level of protection provided by any safety function to reduce the risk level. Okay, so these are all the cell types, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4, which I have explained you. Safety instrumented function is a combination of sensor, logic solver and final control element, which is basically for a specific hazard for example sometimes for flow sometimes for dust monitoring okay there are different types of monitoring we have required some different types of hazards are there for different different sets SIF is for one particular function but when we uh, when we tell about SIS safety instrumented function so it is a set of sensors logic solver and final control element okay so under a SIS safety instrumented system there will be lots of SIF will be there safety instrumented function okay so you can call a SIS is like an umbrella in which lots of SIF will be there. Okay, right. So this is about the basic concept because it is required, guys. Because when we are talking about the highest advanced thing for function safety, so this terms will frequently come here. What is the probability of failure on demand? What is the risk reduction factor? Okay, so at the time you should be familiar with these words. So guys, this is the full analysis of this topic. Yeah, if you have doubt, it may exist. You can put them in comment box. I'll be happy to answer you. Okay, as well as any suggestions, as well as any sort of doubt you have, you can put them as well as like this video. New to this channel, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get this type of videos in the upcoming future. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.